My name is David, and I was born and raised in Beijing, China. My name is Vicky. Uh, my Chinese name is Xia Yu Nong. My name is May Bruni. I studied abroad in Rome for four months. So my name is Angus. I'm from Bombay, India. Uh, my name is Sabrina Iglesias, and I went to London. My first, you know, true encounter of cat calling would be uh, moving here to Temple in North Philly, and um, on a typical Friday night, um, I would see a group of guys, you know, they were most of the time intoxicated, and I would hear them, you know, <clears throat> call out girls, be like, "Hey, babe," or like, "Hey, ladies," you know, trying to pull off their so-called swag, but I don't find that working nor uh, attracted to anybody of the opposite sex so I don't I don't think it's a great idea to um, get a girl to go home with you or to a party some people will say like have a nice day I was what <laughs> yeah and some other like in American they will say like gorgeous and I was thinking like is he talking to me or other people I don't really know well, while walking the streets in Philly, you know, you hear guys on the corners just like yelling at, like, yo ma, like, and then on the other day, like, I was standing on the corner and some, like, guy was asking me, like, how much or whatever, like, being outrageous. So it's not really a good experience. <laughs> uh, it is pretty present, but, like, we usually just drive a lot. We don't really walk on the streets because stuff is not as close by. So, um, I mean, it's it's definitely there. I've seen it, but it, I don't really notice it that much because I'm usually in cars at night and stuff, which is when catcalling usually happens. Here, it's absolutely horrible. It's basically every time I leave the house. Uh, I commute, so I walk from my house to the bus. It's a 10-minute walk, and I'd say at least five times. Yeah. In China, it doesn't happen. Yeah. If they want to, like, cat calling on you in China, they will, like, can you give me a chance to know you? Something like that. I've just seen it a bit more, probably because we're on a college campus, there's a lot of people walking around at night, some people drunk, and so I just notice it more, not necessarily there is more, I just notice it more over here. When I was in London, I honestly only had one really uncomfortable cat call, which was actually from someone who worked for Transport for London. And uh, other than that, it was pretty much just people asking me how I was doing. And it was uh, like pretty polite, strangely. Um, and if someone comes up to you and sort of wants to talk to you here, it's sort of like aggressive. But in London, it was a lot more like, OK, you're not interested, that's fine. So it was definitely a much more comfortable atmosphere. There, there was one story that happened two years ago in Beijing. There was a case where, because uh, there's, there's a lot of foreigners, you know, due to globalization expanding in Beijing. Um, there's a lot of foreigners in Beijing, and you would see them trying to pick up, you know, Chinese girls. And there was this one British guy that was extremely drunk. He was, um, he was trying to call this girl at first. He was calling, hey, May Nu means, hey, beautiful woman, like, come here, let me talk to you. But, you know, the girl got scared, started walking away. He ran after her, and he ended up starting raping her in public. And it was about five or six minutes into the action. There was um, a group of Chinese uh, men, uh, middle-aged, who, um, you know, kicked the living Christ out of him on the street. I was on the news, I was interviewed. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a pretty big deal. Um, it was basically generally the same, but it sounded more fancy because they spoke Italian to you. They, and they would go down, like, say, Bella, which sounds like, you know, better than, like, beautiful, but it means the same thing. So essentially, the guys are the same over there than here. It's more like trying to pick someone up and sort of make it into a date rather than here where it's sort of just vile in some cases. Um, I think there's a lot more sincerity in it, in a strange way, in London. Actually, the city is trying to crack down on Eve teasing and catcalling in India pretty seriously. So, I, I'm, it's a big issue here, but I feel like it's more enforced there. I've not really seen it being enforced. Okay? I've not seen any action taking place here, but there, there are a lot of people patrolling and stuff, trying to stop that kind of thing, because there were a few incidents that were pretty bad back home. 
It's kind of rude, I think. Yeah. Because I don't know you, you don't know me. But why? Uh, it's weird to talk to me like so close. Like, yeah. Rue Saint.